They have long been a punching bag for a long, long time. But guess what? They're not this year, guys. They're not. The ACC is really good. The ACC is really, really good. And how much fun is it, by the way, to have the ACC looking as strong and as deep as they are right now. And we have already, for the last several weeks, talked about how great the Pac-12 is. Like, I would marry the Pac-12 right now if I wasn't happily married. Like, that's how much I love that contingent of teams. But I'm telling you right now, guys, I love what the Big Ten's doing. I think they have three teams that I would have ranked in the top seven. I think the AP might have that as well. Love what the Big Ten's doing. The ACC is painfully, painfully underappreciated. They have six teams that are 4-0. That's tied with the SEC back in 2012 for the most teams in a Power 5 conference to start 4-0 in a single season in the poll era. So dating all the way back to 1936. Duke and North Carolina are the first are 4-0 for the first time or the fourth time ever in the same season. The other instances were who doesn't remember these? 1935, 1936, and 1971. Duke and North Carolina are legit. And now Duke, they're hosting college game day for the very first time. They deserve it, by the way. They're really good. You also think about, too, some of the other teams. Syracuse, big opportunity to prove it this week. Big opportunity. They got Clemson coming to their place. I think Syracuse is really good. And Syracuse, by the way, has played Clemson well in the past. So very, very encouraged by that. Very encouraged by that. But the ACC top to bottom, they have long been a laughing stock. You cannot laugh at the ACC right now. Miami's legit. North Carolina's legit. Duke's legit. Florida State's the real deal. I'm sure there's probably a team or two I'm leaving off here. Louisville's a problem. They're not getting the respect they probably deserve. I'm telling you, man, the ACC top to bottom, it's not going to get the headlines at the the Big 12. It's not going to get the headlines of the Big 10. It's not going to get the headlines of the SEC. But do not sleep on the ACC. I'm loving what they're doing right now. 